Okay, um, I'm making a sewing machine cabinet for my wife, and I needed a hinge that could uh, open 180 degrees. And uh, so anyway, I went looking on the internet, and I found these uh, these hinges here. They're pretty neat. I think they're called a Sosh hinge. S O S S. And anyway, they uh, they really fold up pretty neat. You can see they open 180 degrees. And when it closes, this is what you got. And each one of these, as you would see, if that was installed, and there'd be another board on this side, which I don't have one right now, but it'd open up and fold back out of the way. And so this is something that's a pretty neat hinge. I didn't even know they existed before I started looking around. And so uh, I watched a few films on uh, YouTube on how to install these things, because boy, you know, it looks pretty complicated. And the way they were explained and the jigs that they made seemed, uh, seemed to be overly complicated. So, I'm not a complicated guy. But uh, I, I figured, well, I might be able to come up with something a little bit better. And this is what I have come up with. And basically, I'm gonna be using my router, okay, with, uh, I don't know what you call this, it screws onto your router, and you can adjust this plate in and out. And uh, anyway, you can adjust this plate in and out. And this face of the, of the thing runs along the edge. I guess it'd be for a lot of uh, edge work or something like that. Uh, I'm not quite sure what you call it. But anyway, that'd be part of the jig. Okay. And the other part of the jig is these two blocks of wood. And um, I've made these because the hinge has actually two depths. As you can see, let me, let me fold this over so you can see. It's got a quarter inch depth and it's got a five eighths inch depth. So you have to use your router and make two different cuts in order to get this to be recessed in the wood so that it will close properly. So in order to get the proper height, I have a thickness planer and uh, I run some scrap through my table saw and I run it down and I use my tool here, I can't think of the name right now for whatever, veneers, and I kept measuring until I got to a quarter inch. And also did the same thing here with another one, it gives me five eighths of an inch. And like I say, I just use these to adjust the height. It makes it quick, it makes it simple, you can see what you're doing, and so that's, that's what I have done there. The other thing that I did was I took uh, two scraps of wood be any width you want, doesn't matter. And I drew a line on there with a square. And I cut a I cut a fine line in there before I cut this this window out. Okay. I run down there, I, I run in a line, so I have a center on here. Okay. And what I what I did was I measured the length of well I didn't really even measure. Okay, let me let me back up here. So before I cut this wind out, and I had my center, I know my first, my first length, my quarter inch deep, had to be an inch and a half long. So I put this, uh, I put the, the router, up my, I measured over three quarters of an inch and put two pencil lines on each side of the center. That gives me an inch and a half. Then I took my router and sat up there, and I put the, the router, bit on the on the line to the right and then I took a pencil okay I did this sort of deal and I, I had it over three quarters of an inch right moved it over three quarters of an inch and I went and marked took another pencil and marked right here the edge of my plate and I went the other way three quarters of an inch and I took a pencil and I marked the other end and I took my scroll saw and I just cut this piece out. And I did it for both of them. Uh, uh, one was for 5 eighths, uh, yeah, 5 eighths inch deep, and I think it had to be 3 quarters of an inch long, so I had to measure 3 eighths on either side of that center line. Okay, so now all you have to do is, of course, you put your, your router bit in, you line your wood up center to center, because my wood I put like uh, where I wanted my. Uh, where I wanted my hinge to go. This is just a piece of scrap wood I was experimenting. 
And as you can see, I don't know whether I'm copying this good or not, but as you can see, there's a cut and there's my line. I line them both up, all right? And when I do, I make the wood higher, just a little bit higher than the cutout, okay? I put this in my wood vise, tighten it down, okay? And hopefully you can see this. I tighten it down, and I take my router, I tilt it, I put the put the table up against the notch, I push the whatever you want to call that plate against the front of the wood. So now I'm kind of at a 90 degree angle. I drop it in, I run it over until I hit my other stop, the other cut. I shut the router off when it stops. I lift it off. And I got myself a real nice, a real nice cut. Okay. And for the smaller hole, once again, I line up my, I line up my, uh, my uh, cut that I put in the center. I did the same thing. I made one of these. This is the one I had to go three eighths on each side of the center line. And I line them up, put them in the vise, do the same thing again. And it gives me a real nice. A real nice clean fitting hole. Now this one is like I say on a piece of scrap wood but it drops right on in there and it works out pretty well as you can see and then this hinge will operate back back and forth but uh, yeah it works it works pretty well and uh, if you take your time I'm sure you'll be okay. Uh, I tried doing it with a drill press drilling it out but drill wanted to walk on me a little bit and uh, I come to find that uh, this seemed to work really really well for me I hope it works well for you I hope I explained it good enough I'm not the best guy at making these videos but, uh, but anyway I just hope it helps somebody okay so that's uh, that's what I've been doing lately okay take care